Hello and welcome back. Um, let's have a look at what we've got today. Um, Onkyo amplifier. Um, it's a bit of a bit of history to this amplifier. It was it was given to me by a work colleague and friend. Um, so if you ever get to see this video, Malcolm, hello. <laughs> uh, when I got this uh, amplifier, it was working. I've had a year or two's use out of it. Um, then it did get a very some very strange behaviour from it. Um, random white noise through the speakers very loud um loud hums through the speakers so I, I turned it off um unplugged it left it off for a little while when i plugged it back in um i had the issue with the standby light came on when i hit the power button um uh, it would come on for a few seconds then it would turn off um it was a flashing standby power um led so um my hope is that i can repair it um i have discovered a very similar video on YouTube um, by NorCal715. Um, it's the exact same model, exact same um, symptoms. So I've taken um, what I've seen in his video and I'm going to try and replicate it on, on this amplifier. Um, whether I'm successful or not, only time will tell. So let's get the cover off this um, and let's have a peek inside. Okay, so here we are. My intention was to try and repair this. Um, however, that may not be possible now. Um, let me explain. Whilst preparing for this section of the video, um, I took the, the, the cover off and I was having a little bit of poke around and, and having a look at the, the best angles to use for um, taking readings um, of certain components. Um, some transistors down there. Um, after having a little bit of a poke around, um, I thought I'd show you the symptoms that I was um, getting from the amplifier, and I was going to show you the, the power LED flashing, what have you. Um, when I plugged the, the amplifier in and I hit the power button, um, it was fine for a few seconds. And then I got um, a nice big crackle, uh, a flash. I'm not sure whether there was a, a few flames for a few seconds, then then went out. And when I peered inside, the legs of one of the transistors down here were glowing very brightly. <laughs> so um, it, it's gone from bad to worse. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that and you can see. Now, this one is the one that has gone screw with. Um, it didn't look like that before, I promise. What I think has happened is while I was looking for best angles to get the probes in and things whilst recording, I separated these two transistors. Now there is a transistor down there in the middle, um, which I believe monitors the temperature um, or has something to do with the temperature of these two. Um, I opened these to try and see if I could get a better view of the, the part numbers, etc. And it looks like that transistor in the middle has actually broken. So I don't know whether that's me pulling them apart that's broken that one because they are kind of stuck together with um uh, i think it's just heat heat sink compound um and it does look like it's broken so i didn't notice that initially so when i've powered it on that's caused that to go poof then release the magic smoke um so what i'll do i'm going to take some readings anyway um and well, yeah, just try and replace replace that transistor. I'm gonna probably gonna replace these two as well. Um, whether I get good results from them or not, just to be on the safe side. Um, and well, we'll see um, if it can actually be repaired now that that's happened. That's that's quite bad. I don't know if anything else is, will have been damaged. Um, yeah, so let's find out. Okay, let's see if we can get some figures. Not the best angle I know, but I've got the meter at the top there. Um, <clears throat> the reason I'm using this one is it allows me to zero out my, my probes. Um, I do have another meter which I'm going to have to use for some of the smaller resistors because this won't measure um, that uh, the resistance um, because it's so low. Um, but I've just got to measure my probes on the other one and just deduct what the, the probes themselves um, reg uh, register. Um, so these are good transistors, output trannies, and that's shown 2.52, and then the other two, um, if I can get them on, 0.74, find it out 
of it. Now this is one of the transistors from the channel that's affected. Whereas the other one was 2.54, I think it was. What was it? It was 2.2.5. Um, 2.52. This one is NADA. And okay, the collector and emitter. NADA. The output transistor that blew up. NADA, obviously. And again, NADA. Um, these resistors here, uh, I'm going to measure some of those. So, da -da -da -da. Come on. it's on a good channel, so I'm surprised it's reading nothing unless it's because it's so low, it's not going to read it. Yeah, I think it's. Let's see if I can change the. Scale. It's oh, it was on auto scale, so it should have. No, I don't think it's, it's not going to go that low. So let me get my other millimeter. Let's see if we can get this in. Shot. There we go. So back to these. These probes. Measure 1.3, 1.4. Okay. So nice. Registering nada on them, which I was surprised. That measurement that I'm getting is uh, the probes. About point one. Um I'm hoping I'm hoping that um, my little explosion hasn't caused further issues because I don't believe they should be like that um, maybe more investigation required there's some small little resistors there uh, which are 0.2s quarter watts um, and that's, that'll be about right looking at the resistance. So they look to be okay. That last one was um, on the affected channel. That one was a good channel. Well, I'm saying good. <laughs> it's a good channel. So that, they're about 0.2, um, 0.2 ohms. Another good channel. Yeah. The affected channel. And I'm getting about the same, so I'm going to say that they're they're fine. Um, I don't know whether I can get the probes into here to measure that. I can't. When I take this apart, I'll get the part numbers and I'll just I'll order them anyway, just as a matter of course, along with the little thing that's down in the middle. There is another small transistor, I believe it's a transistor, um, on the the heatsink which monitors. The temperature again between the two output transistors i believe um so for what it's going to cost to replace that i'm just going to i'm just going to order that and replace it as well um and now on norcal 715's video um he did check a lot of uh capacitors for the esr on this board here and um, they were all very high bar the odd one uh, i don't unfortunately have an esr meter um so I I'm think I'm just going to, for the cost of what capacitors are, I'm going to just going to order uh, enough to replace them all anyway, just to be on the safe side. Um, and hopefully we can uh, revive this machine. Um, it was a good amplifier. Get the part numbers off some of these transistors. Get those parts ordered up. Um, and I'll be back for part two, hopefully. <laughs>